You ever wonder why Asian students seem to dominate in math? I mean, really dominate. Top of the class, winning Olympiads, solving problems you didn't even know existed. Is it genetics? Is it pressure? Tiger parents? Nah, let's break that stereotype and reveal what's actually going on behind the scenes. Because once you understand it, you can do it too. And no, this isn't going to be another fluffy, just practice more speech. This is a system, a mindset, a strategy. You'll want to take notes. Let's start here. Most people study math completely wrong. They read the textbook, highlight a few formulas, watch a video, and then say, I understand it. But understanding isn't enough. Asians don't just understand math. They internalize it. It becomes second nature. So what's the secret? Let's break it down. Step number one, forget passive learning. Asian students don't just read math. They practice it obsessively. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it's this. You don't learn math by watching. You learn math by doing. Here's what they do. They don't just solve problems. They solve the same problem in three different ways. You heard that right. One question, three methods. Why? Because it locks the concept in your brain so deep, you can't forget it even if you try. Next up, they focus on fundamentals. This is huge. While most students rush to flashy topics like calculus or trigonometry just to feel smart, Asian students spend weeks, sometimes months, mastering the basics. We're talking fractions, multiplication tables, long division, simple stuff that most people overlook. But here's the truth. If your foundation is shaky, your whole math house is going to collapse. Imagine trying to build a skyscraper on sand. That's what it's like skipping the fundamentals in math. So instead of rushing, they build a rock-solid base. And that base makes everything else ten times easier. Let me show you how they apply this mindset. Take a typical math problem. Say, solving a quadratic equation. Most students plug it into the quadratic formula and call it a day. But Asian students, they go beyond that. They'll solve it using factorization, then with the quadratic formula, and finally by completing the square, even if just one method was enough. Why do all that extra work? Because they're not just solving the problem. They're training their brain to be flexible, adaptable, and deeply fluent in math. And now we come to one of the most underrated tactics of all. The notebook method. This, right here, is a silent weapon almost nobody talks about. Asian students don't just scribble math problems on random sheets of paper. They use organized, dedicated notebooks. And here's the cool part. One side of the page is for solving problems. The other side, for mistakes. Yes, mistakes. Every time they get something wrong, they don't just erase it and move on. They write it down. And then they analyze it. Why did I get this wrong? Was it a careless mistake? Was it a misunderstanding of the concept? Did I rush through it too fast? They dissect their errors like scientists. Because to them, a mistake isn't a failure. It's feedback. They see mistakes as their best teachers. And when you start thinking that way, you never waste an error again. Now you might be thinking, that sounds like a lot of work. Yes, it is. But here's the surprise. They don't actually study more. They just study smarter. Let's talk about the power of repetition. You've probably heard people say, don't memorize, understand. And that's great advice. But in many Asian education systems, they take it one step further. Memorize after understanding. Here's how it works. First, they break down a formula. Where did it come from? What does it actually mean? They don't just accept it. They interrogate it. And then, after they truly get it, they drill it until it becomes second nature. 
That's why when they see a math problem, they don't freeze. They've already solved ten different versions of it before. Their brain just knows what to do, and it gets even better. Timed practice. This is where they sharpen their speed. They don't just practice problems casually. They put themselves under pressure, just like an exam. 15 questions, 10 minutes, clock ticking. Why? Because in real exams, it's not just about solving problems. It's about solving them fast and accurately under stress. They turn practice into a game, a challenge. And that pressure, it prepares them for anything. Now here comes something that sounds simple, but is insanely powerful. The teach-back method. Asian students don't just study math. They teach it to siblings, classmates, or even imaginary students. Why? Because when you can explain something in your own words, you truly understand it. They finish a chapter, then they pretend to be the teacher. They speak it out loud, step by step. And in the middle of explaining it, they often realize, Oh, wait, I don't actually get this part. That's when the real learning begins. Still with me? Good, because now we hit something that separates average students from high performers. Daily consistency. No cramming. No last-minute panic attacks before exams. Asian students study math every single day, even if it's just 20 minutes. Why? Because consistency beats intensity. It's better to study math 20 minutes daily than to cram for three hours once a week. Daily exposure rewires your brain. It makes math part of your routine. Not a chore, not a threat, just a normal, everyday thing. And here's a myth we need to destroy. It's not about being naturally smart. It's about systems. It's about structure. It's about mindset. One of the most powerful systems they use is called error tracking. Every time they get a problem wrong, they write it down. Not to shame themselves, but to build awareness. They create a dedicated mistake book. And every week, they review it, page by page. Because when you face your mistakes head on, you don't repeat them. Nothing haunts you like seeing the same mistake twice and they make sure that never happens. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.